Hi, welcome to Arch Labs. I'm opening my terminal with Control Alt T. There are other combinations like Super T or Super Enter and stuff like that. So, there are different ways to get your terminal. We are using Termites, and this tutorial is about what can you expect from Arch Labs 4.0. So, we have a new release, major release actually. 107 or 109 commits on the GitHub, so a lot has changed. So let's take a look. What are we looking at? We're looking at Variety. Variety is a little program up here, and this is a bit of a surrealistic wallpaper that has been provided with desktopper. So it's, it gets the wallpapers from there. I've never seen it before, so I'm surprised always. That's nice. And if you want to have it, you can always favorite and, and save it to your own directories. Okay, so the wallpaper, variety, nice. There's also nitrogen, which is also a way to choose the wallpaper. So that's available as well. We have a new menu. Well, what's new? Uh, it's streamlined, it's uh, rearranged. Some new items have been added in 4.0. And um, we have also the plank that's available, as you can see here on the left, uh, and an icon theme that is completely new. Before getting into the icon themes, we have also the conkeys, so the right mouse click, and we go to preferences, conkey, conkey chooser. There's a new conkey, the Aureola Acres conkey has been added as well. And you can always add more, meaning you can add uh, two conkeys, three, four, five. You can add several conkeys at the same point, uh, time. And there we have, so we have this logo up here which is now in this wallpaper. Not so nice, but sometimes it really uh, makes it more beautiful. So, okay, that's that. We have the conkeys, we have the wallpaper, the blanks, the icons. And by the way, there's also another tint two panel. So in the tint preferences, tint two, we have added and we will add more uh, tint GUIs, so uh, more looks and uh, this one I've chosen is called Nemesis. Arch Labs Nemesis is the one that you're looking at now. So you can switch between panels. So 10 tin 2 panels. So that's nice. Alt T is also a very nice shortcut. If you don't like the wallpaper that's coming up. So I've told the system here in the preferences. There's a great tutorial on Eric Dubois LPE about all about all these settings about favorites. So Every five minutes is going to change. If you don't want that, just uh, tick it off and that's it. But you can use all the shortcuts like this one is moving along. And next one, oh, I don't want it. Alt T is trash. So it's not on my system anymore. Alt T is trash. And when you like something, you can do a favorite. So Alt F is a favorite. So you get uh, it gets saved in your favorites folder. Okay, so variety is working fine, and then we have these icons. Let's take a look at that. In Arch Labs 4.0, we have included a lot of icons and themes and all that because, well, if you're watching your screen all the time, it has to be beautiful, and beautiful is very personal. So there are lots of things in there, and you have just to choose and to select. So this one, this one, and that one are the ones you're gonna use to make your system more beautiful. Let's start with this one. When you are opening Tunar, which is uh, what uh, we use as a file manager, you can choose whatever you want as icon theme. So there is Papyrus that's included, the Sardi icons have been included, the Surfing icons have been included, Papyrus has been included, Numix Circle, Lights and, and just the Numix, Batch has been included, Mocha has been included as well, together with Fava, you know that they are dependent, we need uh, both of them. And then the Arc icons has been included as well. So you go ahead, you choose whatever icon you want, or install even more, of course. But this is just 4.0, so you don't have to install anything, this is included in the ISO. As you can see, there are lots of possibilities. You can go over them and you could just, for instance, this one looks quite nice. You just go over uh, 
and uh, choose your own personal look. There have been made a personal uh, arc themes, as you can see, lots of arc themes. At the GitHub of Eric Dubois, there's the GitHub of uh, Arc Colora, which is a script which changes the, the arc from Horst 3180, it changes to any color you want. So, this is the normal arc color, an arc dark and arc darker, which is quite nice. But some point in time with wallpapers, conkeys, and so on, you don't want to have this blue look and you want to have uh, this look or that look or this look or that look, whatever. So, a lot of arc choices, colors, and you can choose which kind of accent you want to have. Okay, so those are the themes, the icons, the fonts, of course, uh, some of the fonts have been included as well in 4.0, just take a look. The easiest way maybe for you, if you don't want to go in any terminal, just go to pack pack pamac poof, package manager and type fonts or TTF or stuff like that. And then you'll see what things we have installed. Cantrell fonts, not of fonts have been installed and even more fonts have been installed. You, you just have a look uh, what things we, oh, TTF maybe to see whatever we installed. So this one is a nice one, nice one. Okay, so fonts have been installed. You just uh, select them. So that's that. Um, if you go to the, the other one, the Alex appearance, of course, you're getting the same uh, themes, obviously, and icon themes as well. But there's also a mouse cursor. So if you want to have this nice little one, white one, the breeze snow, since I use a lot of dark themes, I need to have some contrast between the mouse and the background. So this is a white one. And this, don't forget, it's the window board, this top line here this this window board up here is set in here just in here so whatever you want just select it and apply it font and other right anything else let me think what did we change as well in arch lab 4.0 so i've talked about the icons the themes the conkeys have been changed the plank has been added themes in the plank i didn't mention that so we normally if you install plank you have, I don't know, three, four uh, choices. So we've added the most beautiful ones uh, in here as well. So you just go over them and depending on the wallpaper and your personal choice, you just choose the theme you like. Okay, the menu we've told that. There are a lot of um, key bindings or keyboard shortcuts. So go over them, please do. Mainly the most important one I think I feel from time to time that people are not using enough. That's the, the super key. And then you press the keypad. If you have a keyboard with a separate keypad, then you go over the numbers. And that's quite easy, it's wonderful. And even arrow up, arrow down, left and right are quite useful. And it's quite fast and it's really nice. So shortcuts, go check them out. Lots of them in there. Um, we've changed, um, let me think, yeah. We've added also OB menu generator, which is an, another menu. There is a possibility to have to change this one actually. So this is the normal one, this is what we see. You can switch between this one and that one. So rename this one to original, rename this one to menu.xml, then you do open box and you reconfigure, open box, reconfigure, or much easier, control shift and then backspace. And then you have reconfigured open box and then you have this new menu, which is a generated one. So that's interesting to have a look at. The D menu was still there with this uh, super shift D Remember, that's an, another menu, nice. NeoFetch and Terminator have been changed a little bit in configuration. For instance, um, NeoFetch now has, let's take a look. So if this is NeoFetch, but you can also ask NeoFetch, 
minus minus ASCII codes. I think it's double I. We still have the old version with this little thing, uh, not on the top. So there's a new version on GitHub already, but in a few, few uh, releases we'll get the, the latest GitHub release and then it will be just fine on the top there. Anything else? We have Genie themes maybe. I don't know if we had them in 3.4. I don't think so. I don't think so. It might be. So this is a black look and we can change the colors to any color you like. So go over the colors, leave it at this, voila, changed my theme. Um, we have a Linux 4.926.1. Where does it come from? Well, we have in our open box folder, scripts. This script is to be run if you are not on VirtualBox. So there are some uh, applications to make it easy for you to try out Arch Labs on VirtualBox, which is great. But when you install it on SSD and Artisk, we don't need those applications and we want to um, get a nice clean uh, system. So we can, can get rid of those applications by running this. The latest kernel, we've installed LTS, so the latest kernel. And uh, this is a little program, little script that says, okay, go get it, install it, and make a new group and all that. And last but not least, some of the icons will never change. And you get this ugly icon that's not part of the icon theme you've chosen. So you have to run this one and then those get fixed. We've added that as well to 4.0. There's some nice logos as well you, for you to use. And um, that's all to be said here. Okay. We've gone to, with Windows X, we've gone to, or Super X, we've gone to these kind of icons to quit. So you can choose whatever you want to do here. And this is the look we've gone for. And I think that is more or less what we've changed there are probably lots of other things minor things details typos nicer constructions in the menu and so on um, elements that we've added like for instance printing has been added as well so we have directly a menu to add your printers to it so um, it's working out of the box and um, I think we can conclude it here. So Arch Labs 4.0 has been released. Do enjoy it. It's uh, filled with all uh, hidden gems, like I call it, like the keyboard shortcuts, um, like uh, themings for Genie, terminals, all kind of nice uh, elements that are hidden away. Enjoy Arch Labs 4.0.